Today I'm going to show you how to bring any static image to life using DaVinci Resolve. But we're going to use only the editing tab and a little bit of fusion. No 3D rendering, no camera effects or anything like that. It's very straightforward. For these techniques to work, before we start, you have to make sure that you select an image where your subject can easily be separated from the background. There's a couple of ways to do that, but the easiest way I found was using just using Canva. So inside of Canva, I've got my AI image. To separate this image is pretty straightforward. Forward, selecting your image select edit and then under magic studio select magic grab select your image and the subject select everything that you want to be separated and all you need to do is grab now you've got your image separated and canva also filled in the blanks behind the subject and now you can export that so let's head over to davinci resolve inside of davinci resolve we've got our files let's drag in our background and we'll drag in our soldier. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. So the easy way to animate this is if you select the background and select dynamic zoom, so the background zooms out and you select the soldier and select dynamic zoom and click on swap. This creates this nice effect, but this is too much. Uh, selecting this drop down, enable the, the dynamic zoom overlay, select the inner box and just pull it towards the edges. And the same with the background as well. Pull them towards the edges. That already looks a lot better than the static image. We can take it a step further. There's a website called Vect Easy. I've added the link in the description. So you can download all these same assets that I have for free. So the first thing is we're gonna add a lens flare. The brightest part of the background is on the left hand side. So we wanna swap this lens flare around. So under transform, just flip it to the other side. Let's go to composite, change this to darker color and then drag it down to around about 30. So I background is a little bit darker than the subject and then we'll drag the same lens flare on top of the soldier and then we'll change this to add next thing is dragging some atmospheric smoke so the atmospheric smoke let's change the composite to lighten and drag this down to around about 15. we'll drag the same smoke on top of the soldier and pull it up to 30 so we've got some smoke in front of the subject and behind the subject we can move Move this around so we've got the different part of the video plays in front of the subject last thing we can add is fire particles but let's put it below the flare and the smoke then change the composite mode to add and then pull this down way down and then we can add some motion blur if you go to open effects search for motion blur we'll add it on top of the particles this doesn't look bad we can go with that but we can go one step further which will bring this whole image to life and this is an easy step so the last step is to go into fusion so if you click on your background let's go to the background first the png right click on that and say open in fusion now we've got this media in and media out open your select tool by pressing ctrl or spacebar and search for waviness so add that in now the whole image will be wavy, but don't worry about that. Then we're gonna select a polygon node, drag it on top and connect it to the waviness node. And then create an outline around the smoke cloud. Doesn't have to be perfect, just rough outline. Now only the smoke animates, but that animation is way too much, right? Okay, so let's decrease the scale to about 2.7. And the strength, we can increase it to 28. And the speed, let's decrease that to 0.02. And then change the waviness type to horizontal. Now the smoke will look like it goes up, right? But you can see we've got some edges around here. So select the polygon, uncheck the show view controls and increase the soft edge a little bit see at the end here we've got this flag pole that's being dragged along or it looks like it's being duplicated select the polygon again and check the show view controls and just move these up a little bit so it doesn't interfere with any objects to make it look less realistic right and there you go there's our smoke rising black smoke rising oh the next thing is add another waviness and then another polygon connected to that waviness and we're gonna animate this first flag. So let's draw a rectangle around this flag. I'm just gonna move this one up a little bit. So we've got a wavy flag, nice, but that's way too much. 
drag this to 22 pull the strength down a little bit doesn't have to be crazy now we can change the waviness type from vertical to horizontal it looks more like a waving flag right depends whatever you want so let's animate all the other flags select the polygon and the waviness copy and paste an instance of that connect that to the main line and then we're going to delete these polygon lines and we're going to just draw the same one around this flag we're going to do that again copy paste connect it to the line delete these polygon lines and draw a rectangle around this flag and the same with this side as well you don't have to do all the flags you can if you want if you want to play around with the variability of each flag to make it feel a little bit more custom and go into the waviness node of each flag and then play around with the phase the speed as well until you get like a little bit more randomness in the flags right that's the background okay so the last thing before we export is going to be to animate this red cape behind our soldier so let's go into fusion again inside of fusion we're going to do the exact same thing we're going to add a waviness node and then connect a polygon to that waviness and draw roughly around the cape. I suppose you can animate arms and legs like this. I think it's possible with just the waviness tool and a polygon. Uh, this is way too much. Put the scale on 35, put the strength on 6.1 and then the speed on 0.04 and the phase we can play around with the phase where we want it to start but it looks a little bit better. When you're done, the animation should look something like this. If you like these videos, please like, subscribe and support the channel. I read all your comments and I hear what you guys are saying. I want to try and deliver the best possible content and to help you improve in your DaVinci Resolve journey and become better at editing motion graphics, 3D animations, all those nice stuff. And if you've got any suggestions, leave a comment, let me know and I love to hear them. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.